Let's -a go, okay? All right. Yippee! Here we go. Let's jump right into the after hours market report. It looks like the Dow Jones average index was up this week, a solid gain of 420.47 points, while the NASDAQ was also up 109.77 points. And it looks as if the S&P followed suit uh, with a gain of 69.27 points. All major markets uh, recording a gain this week. As of the recording right now, February 24th, Bitcoin is up 2.06%, while Ethereum is up 2.77% within the last 24 hours. Into precious metals, gold is up Friday, a change of $15.40, while silver was also up 19 cents per ounce. Jump into some other interesting news. Here I go. Taxes. Remote and hybrid workers could face double taxation <laughs> on state taxes. If you worked remotely in 2023, you could face double taxation. Aye, 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 aye. Being a hybrid worker might also mean you get snagged. So basically what's going on is during the pandemic, a lot of people were allowed to work remotely. When the pandemic ended, a lot of companies wanted uh, back to return, return to office. Like and then would allow you to work hybrid. According to this article, double taxation with the convenience of the employer rule could apply. Some states Itchy. tax workers where their employer is located, whether or not the employee lives in that state based on the convenience of the employer tax rule. If your employer is in one state and you live in another state as a remote worker, there are six states that have special convenience of employer rule. Those states are Connecticut, Delaware, Nebraska, New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. If your employer is based in one of these states, but you work out of the state remotely for your convenience, you may be subject to double taxation in the state you live in and the one your employer is based. Mamma mia! Oh, I didn't know that. State reciprocity agreements. Some states have reciprocity agreements with neighboring states to avoid double taxation. For example, if you live in Quincy, Illinois and work in Davenport, Iowa, Iowa has a reciprocal agreement with Illinois. Okay. So Iowa does not have to tax that income and all taxation occurs in Illinois, the workers home state. So I guess if you work in one of these states, you might be okay. But the article goes on to say that if you are working hybrid or remote, you may want to check with your employer so that you can make sure that you're not going to be subject to double taxation. Just... Uh, as an FYI, it's noted Here that the highest tax states are going to be California at 13.3%, New York at 10.9%, New Jersey at 10.75%, Massachusetts at 9%, Oregon at 9.9%, Minnesota at 9.85%. Some states States that do not have taxes include South Dakota, yeah! Wyoming, <laughs> Nevada, Texas, Tennessee, Wee -wee! and Florida. It might be time to move to one of those states. That's going to wrap up today's show. Please be sure to like and subscribe so that we can bring you more fun, interesting, and informative videos. Hey, Remember, good. if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Take that. <laughs> Go. Bye bye.